I mentioned earlier, she's a 350 Chevrolet engine. She's got a four bolt main, uh, got a nice cam to it. I'll start it up here in just a minute. Uh, I've jacked my hand up so it's hard to hold a camera and uh, pop the hood at the same time, but I've got pictures of underneath the hood uh, and should have another video on here of it. Um, let's see, she's got a nice little wood bed on the inside. This little storage box. It's good for tow rope for when you have to pull all them new model cars out of the ditch. Got nice rubber on it. Nice wheels. Really complements the truck a lot. Side exhaust. I like how it comes out the side right here. Makes it a whole lot better sound to it. Uh, instead of coming out the back, you can hear it good as you're riding down the road. But it's not too loud because, as you can see, she's got a pretty nice interior for a rat rod truck most of them is just two bucket seats and a, a floorboard this one's got carpet in it she's got a, a pretty i don't know how the upholstery is on it but it's in good shape she's got a headliner in it uh, got a lot of sound deadener in it because it's quiet going down the road um, wood green steering wheel power windows as i mentioned in the other video it's got four speed 700 r4 transmission that's my Hillbilly Heater in there, because I do drive this truck daily. I hooked it up. It's a little Harbor Freight job, but 25, 30 degrees, it does a great job. You see it's got a, you have to roll the window down to get to the door lock, but that's what makes it cool. The truck doesn't leak in the cab. You can drive it in the rain. I put some white rain X on the windshield and drive it and keep on rolling. Never had a trailer on it, but somebody can, I guess, if they want to. Headlights, tail lights, signal lights do work. The way the body's been stationed and sitting down gives it a nice stance. And surprisingly, going down the highway, it doesn't like drag on uh, speed bumps and potholes and all that. It, uh, uh, if you get low, low, yeah, but normal driving, it does fine. I drive around here in Bowling Green, and, which has got some kind of crappy roads, especially the downtown area, but this one handles it well. I've also got a driving video of it posted on here, Deal, door shut tight, sealed tight. See, I'm going to try to attempt to pop the hood with the jacks of hand. Nice little four barrel, four bolt main Chevrolet motor. No leaks or anything around the valve pans, heads. Brake booster on there. She stops really nice going down the highway. Go fast Edelbrock uh, valve covers. Headers on it. Her steering, as I said earlier, it is 12 volt system. Newer radiator in it. So I'll start it up. All the gauges do work except the speedometer. It pegs out at 160, and I don't think I've ever had it that fast before. Cup holders to hold all those cold legal beverages going down the highway. 